Hello friends, welcome at the second day of the tactics training. Of the daily tactics training, I try to make a long streak of doing every day one or two hours of tactics. Hopefully this will improve your and my calculation skills so we can play both better. So let's see what's going on here. Why to play? This is a hard one, I think. I tried to solve it yesterday, but it was not enough time, so I decided to continue to today. Okay, what to do here? What to do? What would you do? Maybe Bishop take G6 as the starting move. <laughs> Bishop takes g6, Queen takes g6. That doesn't look too much. Ah, Bishop e7 looks actually better. Bishop e7 to remove the defender of the Bishop. Bishop e7. If King takes e7, the Rook takes g7. King e6, then rook takes g6. If king e8, then queen h8 check, queen f8, rook g8 wins the queen. Okay, so if bishop e7, what else? If he captures with the queen, then, then rook takes g7, that just wins the queen. But if, if queen e6, okay, then again. Queen takes g7. If the king moves after bishop e7, the rook takes g7. Okay, this, this looks good actually. Oh, what, what's going on? So here, let me just take it, no? One more, let's go back. So, So let's go and look at this one. Okay, I don't know why this is making this way. The queen takes, then you take it. Ah, okay, this is, this means the full queen, okay. So instead of taking the queen, it just means the full queen, okay. Checkmate. 
Okay, one more time. So bishop e7, if queen takes e7, then queen takes g7, and then queen takes e7, checkmate. King takes, then rook takes, g7. King e6, then rook takes g6. Okay, here we are. So this is nice now. Okay, why right to play? Mm -hmm. This queen takes f6 idea is a thing, I think. Oh, uh, we can start with b for even stronger. Wow. So let's go back. So not I have a swing the same idea, bishop two d two, but then I would then queen c five actually. Preventing bishop c three. So let's go. So, what to do here? Because knight takes e7 would be a nice fork. The queen, the rook is protecting. Hmm. I think queen a8. If rook takes a8, then knight takes e7. That's good. But what if after queen a8? Ah, the knight is hanging on some b8, so that's good. If rook b7, then... The queen takes... Oh, no, the knight takes e7, check, rook takes e7, and queen takes b8 wins the knight. Or this both ways are fine. White to play. The eight seven is protected by the rook, so we remove the defender. Wow, this is kind of unbelievable for a moment. This white wins here. Ooh, nice because of the Checkmate on f7, wow. Knight comes, removing now the defender of the f7 pawn, and it's a checkmate. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Hmm. So why to move? Do, do, do. Yeah, the queen. 
actually yeah the queen and the king in the same diagonal so we remove the blockader and then this pawn wins the game okay the back rank looks kind of weak okay and the second rank was so weak actually so we are sitting to make checkmate then rook d2 and then rook queen takes h2 checkmate Knight e2 check opens up for the bishop and for the rook. Knight takes e2, rook takes d1. No. Bishop takes b2 check, king takes with rook takes d1, and we win one of the knights. So black to play. Maybe a discovered attacks some way. Uh, oh, bishop g4, queen takes, bishop takes f3 check. King g, rook g2, rook d1 is not a checkmate actually. Well, la, 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 la. Still, Bishop G four looks the, like the right move. What else? Rook takes H two, King takes H two. That's probably not help. Not really not help. Ah, yeah, and then we just recapture the queen with the rook. Okay, that's it. Yeah, then we can. Yeah. Okay, black to play. Okay, we can win the queen. And pinning the queen wins it. Pins it and wins it. So black to play, I think rook e2 looks like a nice move. Queen takes c5 and then we give the checkmate with the two rooks. Queen is pinned, so we win the queen if he's not taking our queen. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, dear new viewers, if you are new to the stream, a few words about me. I am Attila Turzo, an international chess master from Hungary. I started to play chess when I was seven years old. First, I played a lot of scholastic and junior tournaments. But also, I started to play with Edwards quite early. 
I became an international master at the age of 18 and a year later I became Hungarian junior champion and at the same time I started to teach actually chess it was a long time ago I am now 43 years old so it was 25 years ago 24 25 years ago when I started to teach and I was one of the first teachers who started to teach online in 2001 that was 21 years ago I was teaching hundreds of students most of them were like who like to improve their chess and play by playing online but I was also teaching a few players who played over the board actually one of them became a grandmaster national champion of Paraguay and rated over 2600 one of the 100 best players of the world but the usual students are maybe rated around beginners I teach a lot of beginners or until like maybe rating 2000 2200 so if you would like to improve your chess you have chess dreams which you think would be good to have some help from a professional I am available for individual chess coaching feel free to send me a message and uh, schedule a coaching session you can find my contacts in the chat also or you can send me a message on chess.com twitter or facebook okay nice let's go and solve this puzzle why to play The Black King looks like in a little bit shaky situation. There is this nice rook on d7. The question if we can use it for something or not, or how can we use it for something good. I've seen rook takes e7, king takes e7, then bishop d4, queen f5, bishop takes f6, queen takes f6, rook d7, sacrifice rook, king takes d7, queen takes f6. So that way we would have a queen and the pawn for the two rooks, which is not too much. Looks close to equal actually. Probably there should be something better. Probably something better. What can be the something better? That's the question. Hmm. Rook DA check, bishop takes, rook takes, king takes, that looks fine for black. Yeah, rook e7, rook takes e7, king takes e7, and there, look again. The... Ah, maybe queen b4 check, I did not see that before. Looks like something, so we get that queen to the game that looks good then king e8 okay he goes back hmm. then queen takes b7 let's say queen takes b7 And queen c7. Protecting, protecting, protecting. Huh? <laughs> what should we do here?
Yeah, 11 years, thank you very much for being a subscriber. If anybody watching the stream and would like to support the efforts, then please consider to subscribing. You can do this by sending the link or you can also send in donations by the other link. Yeah, th thank you very much for the, for the support. Yeah, th thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you. I recently played in a Grandmaster tournament and the, and before that for a, for a easier tournament and every game I analyzed on my blog. So if you are interested about the games and you want to learn end games, actually many of them were end games, you can check my blog actually here every game analyzed and we can connect also on on twitter or facebook you can use these links to and you can watch actually all the streams on youtube also so i upload always to my channel the streams so if you want later check it if you missed the live stream you can watch it on youtube So how to win with white? Wow. Oh my god, queen b4 maybe immediately. Oof. Oh. So really need to be open for even strange attacking moves. Yeah, wow, queen b4. Because if bishop takes b4, the rook d8, king is a rook. 1d7 checkmate. Oh my god, wow. This was, wow, challenging. At least to say. Okay, hopefully this is easier. Or maybe it's not easier, so then we can learn more. <laughs> okay, so I guess here bishop takes g5, king takes g5, queen c1 check, king f6, queen h6 checkmate. Or we win the exchange on d8 if he's not capturing the bishop. Yeah. Okay, let's force the exchange of the queens so then the the pawn can queen. Well, this is a cool idea how to go for the pawn. So at the same time, try to stop the black king. You know, and then go because then he has no time to catch the, the king and the pawn. Okay, here we can even sacrifice the c pawn. This will be still winning. Because when the pawn is is blocked on the sixth rank, like on b6, there are key squares. If we can reach those key, key squares, like c6, d6, e6, the three squares on both sides, then we will win the pawn anyway. It's no, he cannot defend in the long run. So we can just play c7 if you want. Just give up the pawn and then now slow, go to the direction of the pawn and we will slowly capture it. What's going on here? Oh yeah, the geometry. Sometimes when you both queens, then you need to, it's really important to continue calculating after you queen, because sometimes both are queening and then you have a check which wins the opponent's queen. And I think this is the, that's the case here also. So we both queen and then queen e4 check would win. Or this will go like we go for the checkmate. Ok, 
Okay, so now it's important to not lose the b for pawn, at least not when you capture that's a draw, so we should just go to this way and now stop. And now no, no checkmate, no stalemate with king c5, but sacrifice the pawn and then we can make the opposition and go forward. Okay, all right to play, wow, what's going on here? So somehow we need to win the pawn and at the same time probably block the opponent king. Black is probably planning to sacrifice the pawn to make our knight pawn a rook pawn because rook pawns are many times a draw position with rook pawns. So let's go, let's see what's going on here. So let's just say okay, king if kings let's say just play normal stuff like king c4, king b6, king d4. Yeah, if we go to that direction, we just take on h4, that's wins. But the question, what if he plays something like king c4 h3? We need to take it. And king b6, king d5, king c7, king e6, king d8, king f7, that, that's just good. Okay. So he cannot do that, not yet at least. Okay, what if we started king c6? So that way we are kind of blocking also at the same time. We are going closer to the h5, but we are blocking the black. King. So king c6, king a6, king d5, king b5, king e, e5, king c5, king f5, We can still block it, actually. So king f5, king... Okay, then h3. No, that's, that's good. Because if he can go to g4, then we win. Okay, so what can he do after that? So king... Okay, let's see. King c6, maybe king b8. Uh -huh. And maybe there, king d7. <laughs> king b7, king. C5, 
King E6. King C8. King F5. H3, we take it. King D8. King. Okay, just uh, just in time. Okay. Wow. Okay. So white to move. Oh, this is nice. So we will f5, it takes then. So e4, if it takes then f5, king d5, king d2, and then the f pound queens. After e4, if he takes on d4, then we take on f5. King d5, king d2 again, he cannot stop anymore. Yeah. And again, okay, good. White to play, wow. Yeah. Looks like the a6 pawn is kind of unstoppable, but probably because we have also pass pawn and together with the pass pawn and our king we will be able to still stop it or queen our pawn. I guess that should be the, the motive here. So how to do it? Thank you. 
<laughs> so let's go f5 first or king b no no actually i think king b7 first king b7 a5 then f5 need to play uh, king c5 to start it so king b7 a5 king c7 no, no. Or maybe king c7, actually, yeah. King c7, because if a4, then... Okay, so king c7, so king b7, a5, king c7, you need to play probably king c7, then king d7, then king d5, and then I start to push the pawn. Yeah, that's it. Ah, no. Sorry, no, because now king is seven and it's all. Sorry, no, so we should continue the. And now settling and now capture. Catch it. Let's go back again. So king b7, a5, king c7, king c5, king d7, king d5, and there king e7 one more. So it's returning f5, f6. King e4, king e6, king takes f4, king e5. Wow. That, that was tough. So, the pawn, 
Well, the queen is, but bishop goes to e5 probably. So maybe king d5 first. If bishop e5, then g3 check. If king f5 after... After king d5. G4 check, he cannot take it because then b7. If he goes back to let's say f4, then, then g5, he cannot take it. Breaking f5, then g6. And yeah, like we will queen it. Yeah, so king d5, king f5, g4. King f6, then g5, king f5, g6. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is the simplest way. Okay, we make a breakthrough here. So let's see what's going on here. So D takes E5, King takes E5, G5. Pawn takes G5, eight six. Ah, he just takes an F6 and he wins. Okay, so that's not the case, we should not. Take on e5. We should play g5 immediately. Yeah. G5. G5, e4, king e3. King e6, pawn takes h6, pawn takes f6. We move the king and then, yeah, he cannot stop the pawns. Okay, how to win here, actually?
It's a stalemate actually if you play like king c6 that will be a stalemate. So king b6 should be I think the move too. Coming closer. King b6, king b2. Maybe king c5. Check. Or the question is king to c5 or king to a5 after king b6. Maybe actually a5. King b6, king a5. Mm -hmm. Goes back to the corner, then queen h1 check, king b2 and then king b4 and then it's, that means actually I feel, mm -hmm. this will be the yeah well the black king is nearly checkmated Hello, hello. Hope you have a wonderful day, GC. Nice to see you. How are you today? Long time did not see you, but I started to do now every day doing uh, tactics, tactics training. I want to improve my calculation to play better in the next Grandmaster tournament. Yeah, it was tough, but hopefully doing better next time if I'm doing everyday tactics training. And also, people who watch this, can they can also improve their calculations and have fun also just by watching these nice puzzles. Yeah, a few words about me if you are new to the stream. I am Attila Turso, an international chess master from Hungary. I started to play chess when I was seven, yeah, seven years old actually. I played a lot junior tournaments in the beginning, but also adult tournaments quite soon. I became an international master at the age of 18 and a year later, Hungarian junior champion. And around the same time I started to teach regularly and I was teaching hundreds of students over the last 25 years, maybe a thousand, I'm not sure, but hundreds of students, that's for sure. My usual student is in the range from beginner to maybe master, so like for maybe 2200, who likes to play online and would like to improve their chess. Sometimes I was teaching also stronger players, masters, or players who wants to play over the board. Actually, my best student became an international grandmaster rated over 2600 FIDE, one of the best 100 players of the world and national champion of Paraguay. Yeah, if you have chess dreams and would like to get some help to reach them, yeah, feel free to send me a message on Twitter, chess.com, email me. You can find my contacts on here also on, yeah, you can, on my blog. Or you can check also my web website, actually, which I just updated a little bit. So how to win here with white? Is it winning with white? Wow. wow. That looks tough to win with white here. Hmm. No, that looks kind of challenging. 
Maybe the draw looks also kind of a good result here with the queen against rook. Hmm. <laughs> no. What's going on here? Will be this uh Ah, yeah, I remember. This is a stalemate, actually, a stalemate trick. So rook f7 check is forced to take, and we take an h7. And no matter where he moves, it's a stalemate. Yeah, so rook takes, queen takes, pawn takes, h7. And there is no way to move for white in the next move. So it's maybe it's, it's a checkmate, actually looks like it's very likely it's a checkmate. The black king is in a little bit in a shaky situation. Ah, yeah, rook d6, king takes the knight f7 check, that will be the key move. Okay, this is a discord attack with the knight and the rook together. Okay, white to play, white to play. Yeah, it's a check with on e7, no matter what he will do. Okay, black to move. Hmm. Queen E one looks a nice move. Rook takes e1, the rook d2, queen takes d2, queen takes d2, checkmate, yeah. Removing the defender. Okay, white to play again. Probably this is the one. Oof. This is so beautiful, wow, wow, wow. This is when I say, you know, chess is sometimes so beautiful. Geometry. And uh, show somehow how you can direct your life or things you can control. <laughs> like this is something like that. 
How would you win with your it's, it's a checkmate actually. Yeah, th thank you very much for the followers actually. AGM, Davin, Cielo, and also Sat Sathobo, thank you for the follow.
so. Checkmate is g4 first to block, then block with the rook the other square, and then the pawn gives the checkmate. Okay, so why to play, I think. Okay, so here you need to be very quick because the black would also like to checkmate white. So speed is everything here. I think this looks good. So white to play. This is a nice checkmate, I think. Knight f6. You know, this is, I think, or very similar. This is a classical puzzle which was created like 500 years ago. <laughs> Something very similar like this. this. Maybe this is that. Sacrifice the knight, the rook, and then this gives the checkmate. Okay, black to play. Hmm. Oh, this is nice again. Blocking with f4 first. Then rook a3. Okay, this is also a nice checkmate. Black to play. Back rank looks weak. Okay, to go for the checkmate. Okay, this is actually, I think, another classical example of the back rank issue, like for queen to b2 captures one of the things, then the other captures on a1 or b1 and checkmate him. Queen d1 to protect, then the f2 will be hanging. This is a very, very nice position. Wow, another really pretty one. Black to move. Yeah. 
Yeah, Brook C5 is the move. Because again, the back rank is true. Plus, the rook is pinned, yeah, because then the queen is hanging. Really beautiful. To play, I think another back rank issue. Yeah, I think queen b5 probably. If takes, then rook takes d8. If queen d4, then queen e8 check. Maybe another back rank issue or something else here. The black king looks like also, you know. In a hard situation. Okay, the white background is also weak. What if we just take on e8? Ah oh, no, that's not. Rook, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, queen takes, rook takes, this is a rook e1 check. Knight f1, the knight e2 check, king h1, and rook takes f1 checkmate, actually. Hallelujah. <laughs> actually, here, even black can win if you are not aware. It's not an issue, the back rank is not so good for us. Bishop takes h7 check, king takes h7, that will not help probably. Queen takes g7, king takes g7. Rook takes e8, rook takes e8. And there. This one bishop is hanging, but the back rank is the problem. Oh, 
What is rook takes d7? The rook takes d7. Same problem. The d7 bishop is pinned. Maybe we can use somehow that that one. So maybe just knight f5. Because the bishop takes f5. That also looks not so good actually. Oh, bishop takes f5. Then rook takes. Then rook takes queen. Oh no, that's good. That's good. No, that no, that's good. So knight f5, bishop takes f5, rook takes queen, rook takes queen. Back rank again, the problem. Pawn takes rook, bishop takes bishop, and he's up. Bishop and knight against the rook, which is good for black. Okay, so knight f5, bishop takes f5, then. Rook takes e8, check, rook takes e8, that will not help. But if queen takes d8, then queen takes d8. Hmm. Hmm. That's good for him. Oh my god. Queen E Queen e4 for a moment. The idea of queen takes h7 checkmate. If you place pawn to f5. Knight takes f5. That looks good actually. I cannot really take it because rook takes e8. After queen e4, if power maybe g6. Then rook d2 takes d7. Actually, that was a piece. Huh. Wow. Maybe this is the thing. It did not come easy. Okay, what of queen e4, knight g6? And still, rook d takes d7. But then rook takes e7. Rook takes e7. Rook takes e4. Knight takes e4. That looks good. Wow. I will go queen e4 here. No, it's not that. Ah, this is that simple. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make something complicated, but it's no. Oh, well, just queen takes d7 simply. Yeah, because if rook takes d7, then rook takes e8. Queen takes rook takes. Wow. Huh? I don't know why did, did I wanted to do it. Why I did not see like this? This is quite simple.
Okay, I went to drum. Okay, sleep well. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for the follow also. So why to play? <laughs> so we need to save the queen some way. Yeah, I think this with this check we can and the ninety six check is coming. Extrat, thank you very much for the follow. So, uh, Epita, thank you for the follow. Zenit Puro, so thank you very much. Yeah, if you would like to support the stream, then please subscribe. You can also subscribe by Prime subscription without extra cost. This is, I think, the link for that. Or if you would like, you can send also donations by. PayPal or by credit card. Yeah, this is that link for that. Okay, thank thank you for the support. So let me see. So white to play, white to play. The background looks like an issue. Maybe you can remove the queen. Queen h4 actually, because queen h4 is sitting in queen d8 checkmate and at the same time sitting to remove the queen. Yeah, that should be the move. Okay, let's go for the next one. So, how can black win? Ooh, this is something nice, I think, because of the back rank. Yeah. This captures the pawn, then this will win, and then rook e1. Takes it the queen, then again, rook e also rook e1. Black to play. This is a something similar trap happens in the Albin counter gambit. I think when Bishop c5 and if he takes the knight, then removing the defender. Yeah, if he moves this, we just take and check. I guess sacrificing the bishop and then the next bishop comes to win the queen. Okay, black to play. Maybe bishop f5 to block the queen. Now queen e2 and queen g2. Yeah, now queen f3 check again. Okay, why to move? Oh. 
Okay, back rank, back rank, back rank. Probably should be six. Should be six. Ooh, ooh, the black king looks like in a bad shape. Maybe queen a4 takes, rook takes a6. Yeah, this looks good. Look what a nice checkmate, wow. Okay, this one is also nice. Ah yeah, this is nice. And then rook a5. Black to move, it looks like this is maybe a checkmate. So knight g3 check takes and then the queen b6 is a then queen g1 checkmate but he can move the bishop actually to avoid the checkmate so maybe not immediately sacrificing the knight hmm. oh this is so beautiful like queen b6 if knight d3 to protect F2, then queen takes f2, knight takes f2, knight g3, checkmate, actually. Wow, and if the bishop moves, that's the same idea. Queen, G2, queen f2, rook takes f2, knight g3, checkmate, wow. Yeah, this is beautiful.
So black to play. Maybe queen h4, and if it takes, then rook g1 checkmate. Yeah, that looks good, actually. This is nice. It's about blocking, I think, rook, rook d5. Bishop takes, then queen takes, rook, rook takes, rook, then queen f8, queen takes, then queen f6. Checkmate to checkmate on F six. Yeah. Okay, so you can see the attack the bishop and the queen together at X eight seven. Probably we should play D five. If it takes the knight takes knight takes. So let's just see what's going on here. Looks like maybe this was a mistake. D5, knight E5. Okay, that's just a counter move. D6. Taking the queen and the knight in the same time. Queen, but then Queen C five. Okay, so not 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 yet D five. Yeah, maybe Knight H five to remove the defender. And if it takes, then Knight. The checkmate set and the queen is at the same time. Yeah. Probably both work, so it's also possible to make first queen h7, check after knight h5, knight h5, and then knight d5. It's probably the same good. So now if queen h7, king h8, knight d5, that should be also good. Ooh, this is nice. This is about winning the queen because of the checkmate I the knight d5. Actually, I think both queen c3 or queen a3, same good. Remove the queen. Let me just check it for a moment. So, d5 and queen a3, yeah, that's good. But queen c3 also, queen takes c3, knight c7 also checkmate. So, I think both should be good. White to play. Yeah, 
The queen would not defend the knight on h7, and the queen takes h7 would be a checkmate. Yeah. Can we remove that queen? Or also, if the pawn would be not on f6, then the d4 bishop would give a very strong check. Ooh, maybe rook takes f7, queen takes f7, and uh, queen takes h7, queen takes h7, f6. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's so beautiful. What do you think about that? Queen sacrifice. And this is the checkmate. Oh my god, that's not nice. Yeah, bishop e6, we need to stop the way of the black king. Um, this is, and we, so we stop and then now the king can win. So what to do now? Hmm. 
So yeah, we need to stop the pause, that's sure, and then we can be done. Okay. You can be both pause then. Okay, this is a typical example of pound and gains, which I showed to my students. This is also, it called the method where it means to call the triangulation. Ah, Chris, nice to see you here. And in Hungary, you did you play in a tournament? Yeah, if somebody would like to know a little bit more about me, you can check my website. Actually, let me just send in. We'll say a few words. I am Attila Turzo from Hungary. Yeah, I started to play chess when I was around seven years old. Currently, I am 43. I became an international master at the age of 18. And one year later, I became the Hungarian junior champion. And around the same time, I started to teach. So in the last 25 years, I was most of the time a full-time chess coach. I was teaching... Uh, most of the levels from absolute beginners to masters. My best student became a grandmaster rated over 2600 and national champion of Paraguay, one of the best hundred players of the world. But my usual student is a hobby player who likes to play online and, you know, between rated zero, so like absolute beginner or maybe 2000. And I am I'm happy to help you if you would like to improve your chess. Just send me a message on any of the platform you use. I am on most of them. Also, you can you can email me at otilaturza at gmail dot com. Have you ever played in the first Saturday tournaments or the Budapest Spring Festival, Chris? So here, why to move, actually, why to move? Do, 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 do. So the way normally to, this is a position actually, if black to play here, then white, white is winning. So what white should do, white should try to get the same position, but giving up a move in the same time. So instead of moving the square and going back to the same square, we make one extra move that will be looking like a triangulation actually. First move is, yeah, actually it can be king to the true. Maybe c5. Will that help? No, probably we should play like king c4. If he plays king c5, then we are happy because king c5 and then we go to b6. So you need to play something like king d8. Then we lose a, a tempo, we play king d4. And when he goes back to c8, then we go to d5 again. But you can do this also starting first to c4 or go to d4 first. So it, you can start with king d4 or king c4 is the same. Because now it's it's an opposition. There's there's no difference of king c4 or king d4 actually. There's no, no difference. Same works, both king c4 or king d4 works. The important idea is not go back immediately to d5, but lose a move. 
So we, because the D5 square is accessible both from C4 and D4, it's no, the order is, is, is not a question, both are working. So you can first play on C4 and then D4, or first play on D4 and then C4. So we need to make back back on d5 in two moves. That's the question because so one oh, sorry in three moves. So this is why it's called a triangle. Should we go for to d4 c4 d5 or c4 d4 d5? And he moves back to c8 in two moves. So we lost the move because we made it in three moves. He made it in two moves, and that's what we wanted. We wanted to lose a move because that's actually the position, the starting position where if he need to make a move, not us then he cannot he has no good move with king d8 then king d6 if king c7 then king c5 and we win the a6 pawn or now we just queen the, the pawn okay wow one more pawn and game do, 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 do. What we should avoid, if black to move here, that's a draw, because he would play b5 check, pawn takes b5, king b6, and we could not save anymore the b5 pawn, and he could capture, and that's, that's a draw. I think we can go around with the kings somehow, probably. No? What about king b3, king c3, king d4, slowly moving around. Probably should do that. And then maybe fixing the pawn with b5. And if there is a pawn fixed on b6 with b5, then if we can reach e6, d6, or e6, c, or c6, d6, or e6, one of the key squares, the three squares on the on the side of the pawn, then we win. So Let's think about this like king b3, king b7, king c3, king c6, king d4, king d6. Okay, there we play c6, c, b5 actually, and uh, if king e6, we can just play c5, that wins. If he goes back to d7 or e7, we make the opposition. Okay, let's go with this way. Okay, now look, now we can reach the e6 square by not d5 because then d7 opposition, but we play here. Position, now we got the square. Okay, d7, d6 is the same. Okay, so what's going on here? Yeah, thank, thank you very much for supporting the stream by following us or subscribing or sending a donation. You can subscribe by this link. Or if you are a Prime member, you can use also your Prime membership to get actual free subscriptions to the channel by this link. Or you can also send donations by this link. Yeah, th thank you very much. You can also connect with us by the few platform on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. Actually, if you are watching this as a replay, you can always find all the streams on the YouTube channel. Also, it's saved. And if you are interested in my tournaments, I am still fighting to get the grandmaster title playing tournaments time to time monthly i try to play a tournament you can follow all my games analyzed on my blog also on this link ah no i did not know like tony costa married to a daughter of a Hungarian grandmaster? Hmm. I don't know. Which which grandmaster's daughter he married? <laughs> I didn't know that. Interesting. So 
So how to win this pawn endgame? This is another question, tough question. <laughs> this looks actually really a lot of possibilities here. Huh? Wow. What if we just go forward? King D2. Okay, what black may wants to do something like king f5, king g4, and then h5, h4. Okay, so maybe that's what he wants. If we play like g4, then h5, g5, h4, and we cannot catch the pawn. Okay. Okay, so that's what white need to figure out how to play, because so black plays really aggressive here. So g4 is not good because h5. Well, let's see if it's good. h5, g takes h5, king takes h5, king d2, king g6, king e3, king f5. Yeah, that's a draw. So there's no g4. What if we go with the king closer? King d2, king f5. King e3, King g4. Okay, what if King e4, King e4, King takes g3. Okay, we just then Queen, watch quicker than he. Okay, f5, h5, f6, h4, f7, h3, f8, h2, Queen f1, that wins. Okay, so. King d2, king f5, king e3, king g4, king e4. So he need to take so that then it wins. So okay, king f king d2, king f5, king e3. What else he can try? Maybe h5, king f3, king f6, king e4 yeah and then we play f5 yeah that just wins okay okay ha. okay so let's go back so i i missed that so there is some uh, some tricks here so not h5 but h6 first okay so king d2 king f5 king e3 h6 Okay, what about, uh, there will be some tempos maybe, then king f3 and then h5, and if king e3 then king g4, then king f2 then h4, that's not good. Okay, so king d2, king f5, Maybe there will be some tempo moves here. Da, da, da. King e3, h6, six. Eight, six. Hallelujah. King f2. Oh, no. No. So there is a critical position, actually, that's the two one position where if the pawn is on h5 and kings are on f5, f3, if, if white to move there, that's a draw. If black to move, then white wins. So we want to play king f3 when he plays h5. So maybe we make, again, a long, this is something similar like losing the tempo, but making the longer, maybe, or not. Like king d2, king uh, f5, king d3 actually, yeah, because if king g4 the slave king e4, if h6 then king e3, so that's the Tsutsuang position, wow. Okay, so the pawn on h6 then the Tsutsuang position, kings on f5, e3, who moves bad for him, if the pawn on h5 then, f3, f5, so we need to go after king d2, king d3 actually to to lose one, one tempo actually, wow.
Ah, or is this also good? Is it good? If h5, yeah, but what is king g4 here? King g4. Okay, let's go back to calculation. That, was, that other looks kind of good, no? Ah, but it's not good because if he plays h5 immediately after, that's not good. King d2, king f5, king d3, immediately h5, that's not good because we cannot play king d3. So actually we need to go after king f5, king uh, e3, okay. h6, king f2, just to wait. But if king g4 there, king g2, okay, h5, that just looks bad, no, because we play king f2, then we play h4, Take it, he takes on f4. Wow, how, is, how good is that? No. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so king d2, king f5, king e3, h6, king f2, king g4. So probably there is another Tutsvang some way. But how is, is there, it's possible to have a Tutsvang there? Huh. I was thinking that's just over there, king after king f4. I mean after king g4, so king d2, king f5, king e3, h6, king f2, king g4. Oh, so white still has a chance to win there. Hmm. But no matter what we do, he plays h5, h4. Wow. And this is what we... After king g4, it looks silly. Really not good anymore. King g4, king g2, okay, h5. Okay, let's just try to be open minded. So, king d2, king f5, king e3, h6, king f2, king g4. Going back to e3, yeah, because sometimes the question is to. We, we both queen and still wins when this king is in this corner and the kings are close. Okay, so there, there, king. But if you go back to e3, then he goes back to f5, and that's the same. So that's probably not helping. Okay, we will play king e2 there. Okay, h5. There, king e3 actually, king takes g3. Okay, and he will not get in with the check. Then f5, we, we both queen, and then it's queen g7 check, and just coming closer, close to the king, queen, king h2, and then king f2 will win in the end. Wow, so this, 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 okay.
Bomb one that's going through here. I want it. Let's go back and forth again to see if this is. Okay, King E4 is one variation that will not help him, I guess, much. Will help him? Maybe you can just go to G2 this way, no? G2, F5, A3. No, I think this should just win. Okay, here King E2. And now it's just okay here then who this was this was long and challenging okay friends thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it yeah if you can please support the stream so I can make it every day. I plan to make it every day. At least one hour, but preferably two hours. Thank you all the followers, subscriptions and donations. Hope you enjoyed it. Please try to use these ideas in your own games and and uh, win some nice games with, with these tactical motifs. See you tomorrow.